All right, good people. We are setting the timer. Okay, cool. Can you introduce yourself, please? I'm Kate Dollard. I teach biology at Northampton High School. Cool. And that's what the freshmen are taking, right? They're taking biology. Yes. Yeah. Cool. What's one thing you really like about that course? Oh my gosh. I don't, it's so, there's that big question, Mr. Cody. Yes. I love biology because it's just all about the natural world. It helps us know about ourselves and what's going on around us all the time. Oh, it's just wild, isn't it? It I is. Mean, there is so, there are so many amazing things in nature. You can hardly believe they exist or how they could possibly I agree. In that way. I could not agree with you more. Well, you know, we're, we're in this place where skunks are coming out. I'm just thinking about skunk. You know, how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> I have hummingbird feeders on my back porch and they're like, they're just tons of hummingbirds and they're like amazing bright colors. They are so fast. Like, how could that have evolved? It's amazing. Uh, I know. It's just so cool. So cool. It's so cool. And, and just even inside our own bodies, what's yeah. going on all the time. It's just nuts. Um, now, do you think that you'll teach COVID-related, pandemic-related? Related? That's part of biology, too, right? Yeah, definitely. Last spring, we worked, uh, we worked COVID and coronavirus into our curriculum a lot, especially one of the units uh, that happened during COVID last spring was human body unit. So we definitely uh, used COVID as the umbrella for teaching that. That's yeah, great. I mean, it, it'll touch all aspects of our curriculum for sure. Yeah. You know, there's a great video I'll share with you later about, you may know it, it's about cowpox. It's about uh, how they come about like, how, how vaccination started with yeah. cowpox. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I have the original paper published by Edward Jenner about that, which is pretty creepy. Yeah. And cool. I mean, you know, not very ethical the way some of those experiments were done a long time ago. But. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. There's also, I don't know if you ever saw the series John Adams on HBO. No. Oh, they actually, they have a scene where they, they literally have a sick person in the back of a wagon, and that's how they vaccinated other people. Oh, yeah. They took some boy in this paper, random boy, and scraped out yeah. some of his sores and in inoculated other people with it. <laughs> so crazy. So gross. <laughs> that's, that's, so that's cool. One thing to keep in mind, that even though this is hard, it's not, it's not the black death hard. It's, it's, yeah, you know, no. So that's good. That's good. Now, what do you like about teaching freshmen? Oh, I love the freshmen. You guys are the best because you're, you come in with enthusiasm and skills and uh, you're generally, you know, not as cool as the <laughs> cool as yep. the upperclassmen. I think you just, I love your energy. And uh, also you're learning a lot of new skills and I love helping you along with that. It's being a, uh, having to function independently without your like pod of middle school teachers is a big adjustment for some of the freshmen and also like, like the volume of content that we go through with speed you're probably almost all of you going to need some help at some time and i love that one-on-one's -on -one's my fave yeah well i love i like what you say too just so you guys know to be cool is not cool. To be uncool exactly. is cool, you know, and at least in the sense that um, if, if cool means being shut down and kind of um, not engaged, trust me, that's not the way to be. At, you don't want to do that and you'll look back on it and be like, oh, that wasn't really cool. Whereas the really cool kids are the ones who are really open and fun and like in it, you know, so. We want to hear your voice. Oh, yeah. Whatever you got to do to get there. Now, let, let me ask you, what were you like when you were a freshman? <laughs> um probably kind of front row nerdy okay I have to say nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that yeah. yeah yeah and what what advice do you have for the the kids in terms of remote learning what would you say to oh, them boy set a routine I think that's the that is the main thing being remote or in school the the pace at the high school is much faster and as soon as you let work go for a moment you're behind yeah so don't let it go, and if you do let it go, talk to your teacher right away, because the longer you wait, the bigger the hole you've dug, and then you feel smothered. So yeah. come for I help, did. ask for help, even just say, I'm feeling overwhelmed, and oh, then, so, and then yeah. we'll help you through it. So good for us to know. You know, because it turns, it turns the situation from being, uh, you don't care, to I need help, or oh, that's no problem. 
you know, and so I keep hearing this in these interviews is that what we want from you guys is communication as much as possible. Absolutely. And I think that's the hardest thing for a lot of freshmen if we're in school to actually come after school or just to say the words, I need help for some reason, that's very difficult for some students. And, um, but we don't know it until it's too late. You know it before we know it. So you have to be the ones to say, as soon as you know, you need something, you got to let us know. And you know, we're the teachers, so you're feeling overwhelmed, but we're not necessarily overwhelmed by that at all. And, and there might be some really easy fixes that we can help you with. But just saying it's going to calm you down and it's going to get us on the case and, and, you know, we can assist. That's what we do. So huge part right. of what we do. It's not just teaching biology. Yeah. It's helping you guys with the life skills to manage your lives really. Yeah. That's great advice. Well, if you're lucky enough to have Ms. Dollard, you'll see her shortly. And thank you so much for doing this. Thank you, Mr. Cody. I look forward to meeting you all. Cool.